This is Becky Legiro. I'm here with Lorian of Scentbee. We are in London right now, and the last time we connected in the CoinGeek Week conference in November, we discussed everything you're working on at Scentbee, but you have a recent announcement that I'd like you to share. Tell me what's new with your organization. So uh, one of the most important things we find is that uh, getting people into Bitcoin is a, a very important thing, a very necessary thing. Uh, once obviously they have Bitcoin, then they can go and ha do all those wonderful things that we hope they can do. But it's the onboarding uh, problem that we've been trying to solve. So what we have just gone live with now is the ability for anybody to be able to go into a major retailer down in South Africa or even small informal little shops. And what they can do is they can go and buy Bitcoin with cash over the counter. And uh, the way that works is that they hand their money, uh, Sent the wallet uh, creates a little uh, barcode that can be scanned by the retail, retailer's point of sale. And as soon as the retailer uh, scans the voucher and the money is handed over, Bitcoin is immediately loaded onto the phone. Love it, that's awesome. And what are your plans for expanding the reach of this product? So, uh, you know, we, we have a, a very strong Africa focus, although we are a global uh, wallet company. But uh, of course, the, the opportunity is, is great in terms of the African continent, especially uh, people who uh, travel from other countries in Africa down to South Africa. Uh, South Africa is a, a, a very attractive country for a lot of uh, people because uh, it's a, a good, strong economy and uh, people go there for jobs. But then what they do is they want to send money back home to their, their family. So uh, that's a very expensive affair fair and very complicated. But uh, uh, with Bitcoin, you know, the, the, the value proposition of Bitcoin was always about global cheap payments. And so we are very excited to uh, expand throughout Africa and provide value that way in terms of the value added services that we provide. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, again, Africa is a wonderful place if you are interested in Bitcoin. It's just there's so much opportunity. Wonderful. And you've come all the way from Africa here to London to participate in the Bitcoin Association Wallet Workshop. Uh, tell me why you decided to come all this way and participate. What's the value there for you and the community? Well, uh, I think that uh, uh, what we have here um, uh, with Enchain and uh, the companies that are, are involved with Enchain, like Money Button and Handcash, uh, there's a lot of valuable insight that all the people here have, and it's very important to share that. Um, you know, we all are, are specialists in our own way, and uh, sometimes it's very easy to get kind of a tunnel vision. You know, if you're focusing on your own thing, uh, what we've done, been able to do here is share ideas, share experiences, uh, uh, things that we've learned. Uh, mistakes we've made and uh, being able to benefit from all that valuable insight and the, the ability to share all that. Yeah, so what, what are some of the topics that you've covered here this week so far? So uh, there's, there's been quite a few. What uh, we are, uh, all are very interested in is merchants. Uh, merchant payments have been a long time coming and we're very excited to, to bring uh, Bitcoin payments to a merchant. So we've been thinking about ways to make that a lot easier, a lot more secure and a lot more um, uh, accessible to wallets to be able to implement. So we've been focusing on that. And then also the tools and the services that make it easy to develop Bitcoin applications. So so uh, we have a, a wallet right now and we depend on Bitcoin nodes, uh, but uh, we're trying to think about how to um, re re uh, build new tools and new services to make it a lot easier to, to build uh, valuable uh, uh, applications.